Welcome back to Fruling on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 11 with me, Mr. CLEP. into November we got through October into November uh, just taking hope for a daily exercise just going for a wander around really uh, as you've already seen I did the hay baling contract over on field one I think it's one uh, I have also completed two fertilizing contracts which you probably just saw as well and I've just early morning got up and I've done that field there that field there and that field down there uh, fertilizing so i need to collect on those in a moment over the last two months i didn't go and collect any lettuce in october so i've got quite a bit of lettuce on the trailer and we've got three pallets of grapes now today we're going to be trying out something uh, which i'm calling the manu method um farmer manu messaged me about something a while back and i, th I thought oh you know what i'll give that a go so anyway, do that uh, we're going to head back and we'll just brush the horse down. That'll be a horse exercise for today. Everything else seems to be ticking over quite nicely. I've got some grass work to do. I said about swapping out my mower. We're going to be getting something a little bit different, which will be a kind of jack of all trades. We'll say all trades. It will, it will give us a few options uh, moving forward. I still, I'm, I don't do horses very often, but still find it stunning. I, I'm so... The movement of the rider, myself, on the horse and the sound on the different surfaces, it's incredible. Anyway, that being said, um, I don't, I've mentioned before, Hayes Outdoors, I follow a lot of outdoor channels, Hayes Outdoors, I've just watched the final part of him doing five days hiking along the Cleveland Way. Um, it's uh, uh, one of the national trails, I have them all over the UK. And it runs uh, the Cleveland Way, Cleveland in North Yorkshire, 110 miles, uh, skirting the North Yorkshire Moors out to the coast, and then from the coast down to Filey, I think the place is called. And he started it on the, the two really hot days we had in the UK, the two sort of 40 degree days. If you don't follow his channel or you just fancy you want to have a look at, you know, 
see a bit of England being done from a hiker's perspective, honestly, check it out. It was, it's, it's an, all of the hikes, the long walks and things he does, I find they're an adventure. And the guy's amazing to watch. And I've just come off the back of just finished watching that final part and then starting this. And it's quite um, inspiring, I find it. So anyway, yeah, if you haven't checked him out, Hayes Outdoors. Now, plus he's got a cool first name, which, you know, This is the other thing I do, weirdly. Do you do, um, I asked that question about something else a while back. Oh, about saving the game and the fact I was saved twice before I turned it off. And loads of people said, oh, they do exactly the same thing. With the horses, I know it makes no difference. Can't wait for the sign. But weirdly, where I can, I try to stay off the tarmac. Gravel, not so bad. Grass is better. But weirdly, I don't know why I do it. It, it, it doesn't really make any difference, but kind of always have anyway we've got uh, lettuce to deliver the great pallets we've got to deliver we're going to go and take those now i'll complete on those contracts and that will give us the money we're going to need for the next step i'm going to jump the fence rather than open the gate could have opened the gate really couldn't i look okay let's brush it down and that should see us all right Hope. There we go. Fitness is fine. Daily riding is done. We're looking good. Chickens. I, we might be not for a full pallet of eggs as well, actually. And our cows, feed wise, they're looking okay. We've got 4,268 litres of milk as well. We've got some slurry too. And I think we've got a bit of manure out in the pen here. Uh, great pallets. We had three. So we've got all of our lettuce. I, I said the lettuce has gone bonkers. Although the greenhouse seems to be getting through a lot more material than I thought it would and the hay contract I didn't show me actually selling the hay bales but we were left with four four six thousand litre hay bales on top of all that hay we got as well so that's good obviously the straw situation didn't work out so we're going to take these first I'm going to come back and grab the mower we'll take the mower and sell that and then we'll get the new equipment again I've probably shown it on the thumbnail so it's not going to be a surprise what the equipment is but more what it does now I am going to show you the my new method. I'm not going to use it the whole time because I'm going to do something else um, to, to sort of say solve the problem. You'll see when I do it. It's a clever idea actually. Kind of a little bit of what I did on Western Wilds at one point. My grass fields that I originally cut have now fully grown again which is nice. When I reset the map I did exactly how, it, how I'd done it before. I cut them all. I removed all the grass out the way so they were reset to growing so they have grown exactly how they should have done on the previous save so I wanted to make sure everything was done properly best price for lettuce and grapes is up at the farmers market but we've been up there yet so we're gonna head up to the farmers market to sell our produce um, oh I didn't complete those contracts did I check to make sure I haven't got any equipment check to make sure I haven't got any fields to clear uh, complete 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 got a couple of harvest contracts there I suppose I could pick them up Soybeans will be worth a little bit, so I could make a little bit over and above. Do I need to borrow items? No, because I've got my own, so I can, I can keep... It's only 135. Shall I accept the contract? I'm going to accept the contract on that one. Soybean, we'll do that off camera. Uh, or maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe just the end of it when we sell, when we're delivering, and then we'll see if we make a bit of money. We're up to 134 grand, and we've got the money for all of this on here as well. So, we're looking a bit better financially. Traffic's looking good that way. I think we can go straight across here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the farmer's market is that building over there. Yeah. Cool, we'll cut straight across. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, it doesn't skirt too far. I thought it went all the way that way, the track that's just there. We'll follow the edge of the field, and off we go. Should I go in the right way this time? I assume the cell points at the front. That would make sense, I guess. Probably didn't need to, didn't need to bring the pallet forks with me, but that's all right. We'll see once we start to sell. I assume it's in front of this bit here. There we go. The straps off. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Wow. I'll take that. Two months worth of lettuce and two months worth of uh, grapes. That's pretty good. So, let's go back, grab the mower. I see, I honestly thought the thing I was going to buy, I thought I was going to be a big chunk of our money gone, but actually, I forgot I need a header as well. Um, yeah, fine. We'll still have a fair bit of money left over. We can start investing or looking at the next tractor we're going to get. Whoa, back up. Van man. Always a menace on the roads. He says I'm doing a camper van now. Yeah, but it's not a white, a white van man, isn't it? It's that one of the guys driving the white vans, panel vans and stuff around the UK that have a bit of a reputation. That light's off, put this back right. So what I'm going to do with the grass today, I'm going to do some mowing with a new mower. Mower, not, not a mower, kind of. And um, I might do some grass and I might do some hay. We have got a little bit of hay. I think predominantly grass, but if I split it 50-50, because my fermenting silo, I think ferments hay as well. I think if I do a bit of both, which would work quite well, and which means I might need another header. That's all right. It'll be worth it, actually, in the long run. And then we can look at producing some more silage and then selling the silage, which means it's another product we can we can sort of sell as we move forward. So we're utilising our grass as well. Uh, disconnect that. Actually, I think I'm going to use a different tractor. Let's just pop this in here for the time being. Don't jump out right. So I keep using the large tractor, but don't leave the helmet. Oh, I think I left it in here. Let's grab the Valmet. That's when I did the fertilising contract, so let's drop that down. That pallet fertiliser I bought way back, it's lasting a really long time, which is brilliant. So this is going to be something a little bit different. Um, actually, what I probably need to do is... Yeah. Now, like I say, the method I'm going to show you, I'm not going to stick with. I'm going to switch to a trailer, but I want to show you it because it's one of those things that you might look and think, oh, actually, you know what? That's a really good idea. I'm going to give that a go. Because it may well be that you're a person that's playing the game and you haven't got a lot of hours, you haven't got a lot of time. It might be you're looking and thinking, oh, I would do that job more often, but it takes such a long time and, you know, so, it is hacks and tips and tricks and things like that. Now, it could be argued I should do a separate video on that, but again, you run that risk then of people then saying, you know, why have you done a video on this when you could have just put it in with other, you know, like I said, you can't win either way, whatever you do. I think that's the one thing we've kind of extrapolated over the last few days, the last week or so. <laughs> You're always going to upset someone, I think. But... I think a lot of people message me about all the stuff I've been talking about the last couple of episodes. Um, saying, you know, not, don't worry about it, you know, do what you do. And, you know, I absolutely agree. But the thing was, when I did the video um, and then I, I sort of changed what I was doing, clean slate and that kind of thing, the reason I said was because it didn't sit right with me either. Had I done it and been absolutely, you know what, no, I'm 100%, I'm absolutely happy with that, I'm more than happy with what I did. Um, I probably would have just carried on because yeah at the end of the day I'm not going to please everyone so I'll do what I want to do but because it didn't sit right with me I think that's why um, I, I wanted to make some changes so it's got that case of you know what I'm happy with doing what sits right with me I'll do and I will stop and think every now and again well I don't know should I really be doing that is that something that's kind of fits you know so yeah gives you pause for thought there's nothing wrong with that right I'll drop that down Just there. Go to the doorway. So, what we're we going to get for 
Hang on a minute. We're still, this is supposed to be, the update was supposed to give us the sell point. That's just giving us a repair trigger which we had before. I thought the update solved that. So what was the point of me doing the update? Hang on. Just make sure I'm not missing something here. Oh, come on. Value, 15,026. But I can't, still can't sell it. I thought that had been fixed. Okay. So, into here... What's it worth here? Thirteen six. That's ridiculous. Why is it giving me a price for it, but not giving me the option to sell it? Not that changing the, the angle of it's going to make any difference to that, but. Outrageous. I'm down two grand on the deal. Never mind. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's just put that to one side for the moment. What we're looking at getting is we want. We're going to get a forage harvester. We're going to get that. The Fortress E281. I'm going to get it in blue, but I'm going to get yellow rims. Don't know why, just fancy it. Uh, let's buy that. So we've got a forage harvester, which means it will give us the option to do forage work, so we can do silage harvesting if we want to. But what I'm also going to do is go to forage harvester headers, and we're going to grab that which is technically a mower it's an all crop header same thing let's get yellow with that let's buy that it's 15 grand it's fairly pricey actually yes, we've gone down a little bit more than i thought i was hoping uh what i'll do is that one i'm going to need a little while we'll lease that but what i'm also going to do is not the pallets go for a big bag i'm going to show you the manu method which i thought i just thought was really clever um, we'll get one of these, the Global Goods Transport Bag. Now, you can you have it standard 10,000 litres. I could go with that, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Or you can go with an unreal capacity. Now, I'm going to go with standard capacity just for the sake of people. You know, I don't want people saying, oh, you're cheating again. I'm, no. But you can bear in mind, watch what I'm going to do, and say to yourself, if you wanted to harvest an entire field, do an entire field, and not have to go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. This will work really well, but I'm going to do it with the standard 10,000 litres. We'll do 10,000, then I'm going to switch over to a trailer. But this is the Manu method. So, I can lease this bag, so I wouldn't have to buy it, but I'm going to buy one. Oh, that's a good point, actually. I wonder if I can convert it. Hmm, don't know if I can, actually. So what I'm going to do is take that. I'm going to put it on my trailer. So up the ramp. Not oh, there's a ramp, it's just a bar. Put that there. And oh, have I not got that switch for straps yet? I need to do a bit of work. Okay, right. Let me grab this. Now I'm gonna put the header on it now. I'm gonna to have to be a little bit careful on the road, but we'll be off the road really quickly, so that's not a problem. Hold that away. It's got a rear trailer hitch, we can hook up to that. Let's just disconnect that for a second. So I need to switch that over so it's got straps to hold that bag. Whoa, hold that bag down. Let's go to customize. Straps and no auto loading. Customize. Ah, oh, okay. Customise. So we can change that if we want to. So I could go back in because I've bought it. I can change the bag once, which means I should now be able to strap the bag down. Let's do that. 
So, I am going to switch out for a trailer, but I just wanted to show you. Because I thought it was clever. Now, apparently with this, you can hire a worker as well, which makes, especially if you've got a 200,000 litre bag on the back, if you go for the unreal capacity, means if you want to do work clearing a whole grass field, and this is one of the bonuses with the fact that forage harvesters technically when grass goes through yes it's grass coming out but it's technically chaff because it gets cross cut through a forage harvester whereas in game if you cut grass it comes back out as grass which kind of works to our advantage in this situation can we get through that gap okay so yeah so you can hire a worker and um not have to worry oh that might be a bit tight there Right. The only downside is the forage harvesters, for some reason, won't cut meadow grass, which is a bit annoying. Uh, pipe out, which does that, should put it to there. Let's go back to here, start it up. Because we've got the all crop header, we can cut grass, and what it will do, at the moment, yeah, the pipe is just showing it blowing right off the back, but it's cutting it. And blowing it out of the back and putting it into the back. So, the same, if you've got a 200,000 litre bag on the back of that, you can hire a worker and you can go away and leave it. That'll go up and down the field. It should go up and down the field. Now, about to say, it depends what trailer you use, um, depending on what trailer you've got on the back. Hopefully, like I say, I'm going to switch this out and I'll swap it for, uh, for a regular trailer. But why I hire a worker in there? That will just carry on now. So, you know, like I say, it won't work on meadow grass. It will work on fields where you've got, like, proper grass, where you've actually sown the grass or the map has got fields with grass on it because it registers its natural field, whereas, whereas the meadow grass, it doesn't like it. So that's the big difference. If you've got a mower and you're mowing yourself, the mower will cut meadow grass. So that's my only downside with this. That means I can't get all the grass around the edges. So maybe a small front mower, I could get a cheap front mower to do that if I wanted to. And then I can use a pickup header, so we're almost at our 10,000 litres already. Don't know how the work is going to fare with this particular... Uh, this particular um, trailer. So what I'll do, I'll go and defend myself. It's still a bit dark actually. But you see how that's really cool. Now, obviously, that trailer can hold more bags. So if you've got a very big field and you've got other jobs to do and you think, OK, I can just leave it working on, you can put two of these bags on the back of the trailer and off it chucks. Potentially 400,000 litres. Now, that is completely unrealistic. I know it is. But with the 10,000 litres in there, there's no reason at all that a bag couldn't hold 10 bars in the regardless. But it's a bit more realistic. And would it squirt into the bag? No, it wouldn't. So again, but I just... I, I was so... When, when Farmer Man, you sent me the, the pictures, and I thought, that's brilliant, and I wanted to show it. And this portrait forage harvester works well on this map because of its size, and it's an old piece of machinery, and that kind of thing, so it works well with what we're doing. And I wanted to show this off, so uh, we'll be at 10,000 litres in a moment. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over, get a regular trailer, our regular trailer, and we'll run that. So that'll be our grass collection. But what we can do is um hopefully right we might be at a point where it doesn't like it filling up the last little bit might be a little bit of cutting forward so it's not blowing until I reverse now there we go we're almost at 10,000 but the hay situation is something a little bit different there we go great thing being as well let's turn it off is um, you can move those bags by hand if you want to. I know 10,000 litres or 200,000 litres you shouldn't be able to, but you can. It's just it's the way it's been set up, but that's the grass situation. So what I'm going to do is go and grab a regular trailer. I'll sort that bag out in a moment. Let's disconnect that. And the grass is going to go into the um, fermenting silo. Let's see what I could probably do is go and grab that. Let's do, do, do that, do that, come back, I don't need to take the header with me, hopefully the regular header, our 
reg our regular trailer. Our trailer will hook up to this. And then we can get fermenting some grass. So I'm going to do, yeah, probably half and half, because I'm pretty sure I need some of those often, I've just remembered. Uh, let's do that. Is the pub living away? Yep. Still is. I can't believe I put that trailer just too far under. Typical, right, bear with me. I'm going to get that trailer, we'll go into the field and we'll do some regular grass and then what we can do later on, actually that was the thing I was going to look at getting, I don't know how expensive it is but I might lease it. I used it on Western Wilds and it worked really well and I love it. So I'm going to get the, it's under tedders, that seven grand, um, I think we'll lease it, we'll lease that. It'll mean going over the stuff twice but it doesn't matter. Um, because the other thing you can do, well look, I'll show you in a bit, anyway, yeah, so I'll sort the trailer out, we'll get some more done, we'll get the grass into the Hessian silo, we'll get that producing some, um, the moment it's empty, we'll get that producing, actually at some point, where are we, where is that at all? Oh man, I can never find one there, actually I don't know if there is one, is there, I have to do it from the menu. Uh, yeah, grass silage, hay silage, so I'll do half grass, half hay. And I was going to do straw, but that didn't pan out, did it? Uh, never mind. So, right. Okay, you wouldn't hook up to my Stuart trailer, <laughs> typically. Um, so what I've done is I've leased the Brantner DD24073XXL trailer. It's a little bit larger, I think 2,000 litres larger, bigger than the Stuart. We can do exactly the same thing, so rather than going into a bag, it's going to the trailer. It does the same thing. Obviously this is a little bit more um, usual. So we've got our forage harvester, which we're using as a mower, forage wagon. It's kind of doing it all in one hit, which is quite handy, really. Um, had I thought about it, I could have put some silage additive in, but that would have cost me a bit of extra money. It's a 5% increase if you do the silage additive, but, you know, I'm not that bothered at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll take the bag over, we'll get that unloaded, uh, and I'll fill up this trailer, get this unloaded. We'll move on to our field over there, but then we've also got the field that I haven't been to yet, which I'm going to cut to, which is, hang on, let's go back to here, which is this one here. We haven't been there yet, so I'm going to go over there. So what I've got to try and work out is the size of that field, work out about half of that, that, and that combined. So I don't know whether, hmm, whether just do all this grass and then all that hay. Yeah, it's a tricky one, isn't it? See how we go. That's what we're going to do. And we've got, once we've got a load into the silo, we'll get that running some silage. And then hopefully, once that's all done, and we've got a load of silage, we've got plenty on hand uh, for making silage extraction for the cows, but then I've also got some I can sell to the biogas plant. We don't own the biogas plant, but again, this is about selling. I'm not really, because we're trying to make money to buy tractors and we're doing work. Yes, I do want to make a bit of money, but I haven't got the money. I, I, that, that's the other downside to this style of gameplay, is I haven't got the money to buy production chains. I can't afford 100000 to buy a building. I would have to grind and grind and grind and grind, especially if I was running seasons as well. On a small map, small fields, I don't own a lot of them. It would take years, you know, realistically, to get to a point where I can afford to, to spend 100,000, 60,000, 50,000 on a production chain. So you have to kind of think about, I suppose this is a, a more a more pure style of farming, I guess, because it's back to just doing the farming, doing the harvesting and selling the crop. And that's more the sort of thing. I mean, I say grind. I, I had enough money, 170 grand. I, I absolutely could have, but I've got to choose. Do I want to get a new piece of equipment? Do I want to buy a production chain? And I suppose that's the thing. That, that's what people want to see, that decision-making process and how does that pan out, as opposed to earning enough money you can sell. Yeah, I'll buy everything now. I guess, I don't know. Right then. I'll see you later. 
Seems to have missed something. That's weird. Some patches haven't grown. Okay, so 11.34, the first field here is done. Now, like I said, because it's a forage harvester, we're using this header, it won't do the meadow grass. So what I can do is get a, a mower. I can run a mower with my loading wagon. So we've still got the putting a uh, loading wagon, forage wagon. We can go around and do all the extra bits. So I'm, I was trying to work out a way of not doing as much grass, but more hay, because I can go around and do all the edges and I can get more grass anyway to go into. I think we're up to about 60... Just over 60,000 litres in the Hessian silo. Now, for doing hay, we've got the uh, LO uh, TR300 um, tedder. I mean, it's a tedder wind rower, which is brilliant. So what I can do this time, sorry, that way, that's where the cab is, is if I set this to unload, and I've got to be careful. Now, I will say, my verdict on this method, the Marnie method, is brilliant. It works really, really well. But does it work very well on this particular map? Not necessarily. I think it worked better on rectangular fields, bigger fields. Uh, fields where you go up and down. Simply because, because it shoots out the back, as you can see, it shoots out quite a long way. When you've got a trailer on the back, that's fine. But when I turn, it can swing quite a long way. So what I did, I did a strip round first using um, the trailer. And then if I'm going to do hay, I've got to be careful on the tight turns because I could end up flicking that swath, could end up going out of bounds to a point where I can't get to it. So I just have to be very careful, like now, when I do that turn, if it looks like I'm going to go out of bounds, I've got to think about... Oh, I should have waited for that to finish the spraying up. So like I say, on a, on a, on a small map, with tight fields, it's a little bit trickier. But, as you can see, because I've got an unload, it all, for all intents and purposes, what it's doing is it's cutting and swathing. Now, I know there are mowers that swath, but because I can use this as a forage harvester as well, it, it will do two jobs, or three jobs, or however you want to look at it. So what should happen now is if I turn that way now, it shouldn't go out of bounds. It should be still on the map. There we go. So with the swath left behind, as I'm doing really badly there, right, let that get out there first. Got to remember to do that, otherwise I end up spreading it all over the place. Is then go over the yellow, turn it into hay, and then collect it with the loading wagon. What I was hoping I would be able to do is there's a, a pickup header that comes with this harvester, but the pickup header only picks up grass. So if you've already done mowing and swathing, you can just use a collection header rather than this mowing header. I was hoping it was going to do hay as well, but unfortunately it doesn't. So that's a bit, a bit frustrating, but not the end of the world. So what I'm going to do now, oh, I'm going to obviously continue this field. I'm going to go over and do the other field as well, the one we haven't been to yet, because that one I'm going to do all hay as well. So what should happen now, if I grab my LO on the back of the Valtra, I'll start here, I'll go back over that at the moment. I say, if you didn't watch Western Wilds or didn't see the episodes where I used this, this is brilliant. I really, really did like this. Fairly inexpensive. Tedder and pickup. Uh, and pickup and uh, swather. Now, the other thing I was going to try and do 
and I did try it off camera and it didn't work because that's got a rear trailer hitch. I thought I'll use one of the extensions with a three point link on it. Uh, one of them was the, was it the Stufel, Snufel Stuck? Stufel Stuck? I can't remember now. What's it under? Uh, dollies? Snufel Stuck, because that was quite long. So I thought if I hook the Snufel Stuck onto there and then put the yellow on the back of that, potentially that would spray onto the ground and then that could tear at the same time. The problem was that blew just past the back of this. So on the, the Snufel Stuck and that, it came out here. So I was just missing it. I thought it might work. I thought it might be a clever little way of, of creating your hay all in one pass, but unfortunately it didn't quite work out. But hey, again, it's worth a test. You live and learn. It could have been the, the best idea ever. So I will go around now, use that to do the mowing. I'll go around and do the tedding. Like I said, unfortunately, because I haven't got the pickup header, I was hoping I'd be able to use the, I mean, I've, I've got the pickup header, but it won't do grass. I was just going to do the same thing, go around then, but I'd just use the loading wagon instead. You know, we'll get the hay, that's the, the main purpose. What I can do while we're waiting as well, though, is we can get, let's go down to there, and we can get our grass silage under, oh, 69,000 is, I thought I had 61. Okay, brilliant. So we'll turn that on. That's going to start creating silage for us. Which is where we want to be. So I've got a bit of work to do off screen and then we'll collect and we'll get that in as well and we'll get the grass silage and the hay silage going at the same time. So like I say, yeah my verdict, do I do I like the Manu method? I do, I think it's brilliant, I think that works really well. I like the idea of doing it with bags, like I say, you know, however you want to look at it. it. It will work, it does work. Um, and the fact you can hire a worker to go up and down, like I said, it will work better on more open fields. If, if I wasn't enclosed by fences and trees and stuff like that, if I had a bit of a run off either side, that would make life a little bit easier on here. But I wanted to test the method and it works. So, hey. do this. I was thinking actually is there an option? It's one of those things where I don't want to not look and then find there is. I don't think I can adjust the nozzle. No, I was hoping I could tilt the nozzle down. If I can tip that nozzle. Oh well, so that would have been perfect. If I could just direct it straight to the ground, that would have been absolutely brilliant. I could have then done what I said. It will be fine. She'll be right. It's a little after midday. Uh, I have leased this. This is the uh, Lizard RDMR, RDMR 300, I think it is. Uh, I might buy one. It's only 2,100. I don't know if it'll work on the front, but it'll definitely work on the rear. This is our other grass field we haven't been to before. Or we haven't done anything on it yet. So what I'm going to do is cut all around the edges, and I can do the same with the other fields as well. To give me that little bit of a boundary so that when we use the uh, fork trip. Now, are there other ways you can do this rather than using the fork trip? Of course there are. Are there better ways? Potentially. Oh, I'm just, like I said, just wanted to give it a go. The other thing I was going to say was HMG, farming and industrial. Um, hang on. It's farming and industrial. Mine's gone blank. Oh, dear. Contracting, farming and industrial contracting. Um, when this tractor shipped from them, it was supposed to come with the barrel weight and it didn't come. So we've got a barrel weight coming at some point. Thank you to uh, HMG for contacting us and let us know. So I'm just going to go on the outside and do all the edging and then I can still use the uh, tedder to go on the ted. So I'll do two or three strips around with this just to make sure I've got all the edging done. Uh, and then we can do the tedding, but I can use the portrait then do the wind rowing sort of at the same time without losing it around the edges like I say it's not so great on tight turns 
this isn't a particularly big field so we'll get what we can off of it the other field is done and tedded i just haven't started collecting yet so what we'll do before the end of the episode hopefully we'll get over there with the uh, forage wagon and we'll start collecting the hay and then we'll get the hay at least processing through the uh, fermenting silo as well I should say it's not as big a field, it's, it's quite a long one this one, it's narrow at the top but it's uh, that's pretty good, that's better, I can see that, hopefully we'll come over the close to the fence but yeah I'll get a few strips in with this. And then we'll be good to go. Um, now who is this one by? I'm sure I wrote it down somewhere. Who was it by? Sorry. Um, Holtz FS, I think it is. This little RDMR. I suppose the test will be, if I go that way with it, will it mow? It will, so potentially I could put this on the front, so I could run this on the front with a loading forage wagon behind. So, as far as a mower goes, a fairly cheap one, at 2,100, I've only leased it, and it only cost me just over a hundred to lease it, but to buy two thousand one hundred, that's brilliant. It will do a job, wouldn't it? Saves me spending eight, ten, twelve grand on a you know three foot a three metre mower. Saving those pennies. Oh the other thing we haven't done, just remembered. We haven't checked on, hang on. What's for sale today? Oh, okay. We definitely don't need that. <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll just do the ends now. If I do a couple of strips across each end and then I can do the full length of the fields using the fort strip, that will make more sense. Right, the first field is cleared. We've got the Pertinger out of the uh, out of the barn. I'm curious to see when I finish this field how close I was. I'm hoping that I've got more hay in there than I've got grass because with that mower we've leased I'm hoping to go around the edges of the other fields and put a bit more grass in. If the balance is off it doesn't matter, it hasn't got to be exactly 50-50. I'm just curious to see if when I stopped doing grass and switched over to hay was um, close enough, you know. We'll see what happens. All I've been doing is going back and forwards and dumping the stuff in there. I haven't actually looked yet. So it makes me wonder. Now this only holds 16,100 litres. I don't know if I'll get the rest of this field done or not. I might do. I might have to do a run back and then come back again. What time has it just got one o'clock in the afternoon? The day seems to be going very fast. I know I, I sort of did a couple of bits and bobs off camera. So I don't suppose we didn't start to have gone 10, did we? But yeah. Um, I don't know, we might get more than 16,000 years. We have a, a little bit left. Uh, once this is all done and I've got this over to the uh, fermenting silo, I'm obviously going to have to come back and then fertilise all three fields so they're good for the next growth cycle. We get maximum we can off them. I 
I've got an idea for next episode what I want to tackle, although bear in mind we're in November and we're going to be going to December, it's probably not the best time to be doing it. It depends if we get any snow of course, I don't know what the forecast is like. Actually I think we will get all this off, you know. The tractor with the mower is still sitting there, I haven't actually moved them yet. So we had 69,000 acres of grass, didn't we? Actually I don't know if we are going to get more. Yeah, we, may, we might have done it absolutely on the nail kind of thing. Oh, it's going to be close, you know. Oh no. 15,000 just over. Okay. We are done. I'll leave the gates open so I'm going to come back to the fertiliser and I've got to muck around. It's not far to go either, which is nice. I might use that mower and cut all the grass here as well. Might as well, I've got it, haven't I? Hmm. Probably got another box of grapes. Okay, let's see, shall we? Wait until it's unloaded and then we'll check. I think we might be a little bit under how much grass we have, but I'd like to say it didn't have to be a split, 50-50 split, I was just curious. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, now that says 62,000, 63,000, but we have 69, as you can see if you go further down, um, our silage, we've already pr um, processed 7,000 litres of silage. So yeah, we're out by a bit, but it wasn't far off actually. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I'm going to get the hay processing as well. I don't know what the price for silage is or where the best place for selling it's going to be. I would have thought the biogas plant, but let's have a look. We'll see for silage and then that 61,000 litres is what we already had, that stored away. Oh no, it wasn't we already had. We did that in the early episodes, didn't we? Animal dealer and a biogas plant. Actually, animal dealers paying, paying more for... Because we don't own the biogas plant. So putting it in there, we'll get paid, but we won't get any processes from it. We won't gain anything from it. We won't get paid per hour. So actually, in this case, we might be better off. And in all honesty, at 540, that means that with potentially, well, 120, 130,000 litres in there at the moment, that's an, another 60, 70 grand. And if I go around and cut all the, all the edges of the fields that I didn't do, put grass in there as well, and that field over there, we could end up covering the cost of the fort trip. Puts us back to where we were anyway. Okay, so I'm going to do that. That's going to happen off camera. I don't think I've got any more contracts that have popped up, have they? While we've been busy. There we go. Harvest. Oh no, I've got that one to do, haven't I? I forgot about that. I was going to do that off camera as well. I keep giving myself too many jobs to do. Uh, what I'll do is I'll bring the other, I'll bring that mower back. Go and grab the tractor. And that's what I'll do. So, for this episode, I think we're done. We have got a full box of eggs there. Box, pallet of eggs. With some more started, which is great. Keep a check on the feed for the cows and the uh, chickens to make sure I keep them topped up. Our crops are growing. We've got two, two fields of sunflower and one of soybean down the bottom. Not a huge amount. The sunflower will get a fair bit. Um, and I think we're going to do sunflower oil maybe with that. But well, again, that we'll get onto that later on. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.